Right, just running through how to do a firmware upgrade on a DesignJet 500 series. So we've got the DesignJet here, uh, powered on and ready, and it's connected via USB to the PC. And different show you on there. We go into printers and faxes. We see there HP DesignJet 500 42 by HP is ready. Okay. So what we do? Bring up the HP website. Go to the development page, I'll, I'll give you a suitable link okay. and download the firmware update tool. Yeah. Click on download for that. And I want to save this application. I'll save it onto the desktop, just for ease of finding it. Onto the desktop. That's a 28 meg file. So won't take too long to download. What I'll do is I'll come back once it's finished. Right, so we've finished downloading now and got a file there on the desktop. So all we need to do is just double click it, it's an executable file. This is a Windows XP machine I'm using here. Again, security warning. And just click on run. Ask me where I want to unzip it to. So I'll create a folder on the desktop. Let's call it 500 firmware. Browse to that. Select the folder I just created. Okay, so unzip to folder is now going to the 500 firmware folder that I just selected and click on unzip. One file unzipped successfully. Okay, that. And it goes straight into running the actual program itself. Or, oh, sorry, straight into installing the program. And once it's finished installing, it will go straight into running it as well. Just follow through the install process. Accept the HP license and install. Okay, wizard's completed. Click finish. What we've actually got is a new desktop icon now, HP designed it 500 800 series firmware. As you can see, it's gone straight into running it. Uh, see the hourglass there, it should be going out and looking for any design jet 500 or 800s that are on the system. And sure enough, it's found the one on this machine HP design jet 500. The address there USB 001, so it's found the one that's connected via the USB. And all we need to do now is click on the update button. Click on that. Now, this particular machine doesn't have a GL2 card in there, um, so it is literally just the firmware that's getting updated. Uh, machines with GL2 cards, you'll see format of firmware uh, isn't greyed out. So that will be uh, selected as an option as well. And just click on update. Um, prior to doing this, do make sure the printer is sat there. There's nothing in the print queue. Um, the machine's nice and stable, hasn't got any error codes. Because um, if, if it does fail, it can actually mess up the, the electronics module. Um, well, I'm happy that that's the case, so I'll just click on OK. And so sending firmware package to the printer. And so it has successfully been sent, and you'll be prompted when to reboot the machine or reboot the printer. Just OK that. Go over to the front panel. Oh, it was a little bit too quick, but what actually happens is you see a load of zeros and ones scrolling down this side here, uh, indicating that it's accepting firmware. And now it's just processing it. You see the hourglass there, just the picture of the machine. Data, the data mapping record up. Can I hit finish on that? 
results what will happen is when it's when it's finished processing it it will change this graphic here and it will just indicate sort of indicating that you're pulling the power out of the machine um, so I'll wait until it's finished processing and then come back to the video right so it's now finished processing that and what we can see on this graphic just basically shows power lead coming out of the machine and it's saying yeah pull the power that's all we need to do Power the machine off. Yeah, yeah. And just power it back on again. See we're going for a reboot. And we'll come back in a second and I'll just show you how to check the firmware that's gone on there. Right, so the design jet's now rebooted and uh, we just need to double check the firmware revision. Uh, it should be AO402, that's the latest revision of firmware available for this machine. So we just scroll down to the printer setup menu, bottom icon, and press enter. Scroll to printer information, press enter, and we can just view it, don't need to print it. So press enter on view, and just scroll down and we see engine FW. AO402. So that's successfully upgraded the firmware and we're ready to go.